All right, boys and girls, today for math, we're going to continue reviewing our numbers 11 to 20. So we're going to go over the numbers on the cards, and then you'll work on pages 245, 246, and 247 of your Envision Volume 1. Okay, so we have 12, 16, 20, 11, 19, 17, 15, 13, 18, 14. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick, like we've been practicing, one of your cards. And you're going to build that number with any kind of counters you have. So I picked the number 15, so I'm going to take some counters. I'm going to count 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So let's count just to make sure I have 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick, you can do it about three times, pick three different cards say the number you picked, and then represent that number with any kind of counters that you have. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at page 245. So we're going to practice counting, reading, and writing 13, 14, and 15. Okay. So Carlos collected leaves to put in a scrapbook. What other ways can Carlos use to show the number of leaves he has? So we're going to use counters. So let's count to see how many leaves he collected. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So he collected 14. So 14 is a 1 and a 4. The 1 is first and then the 4. Okay? So let's put 14 counters on our 10 frame. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 fit on the 10 frame. Okay, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 10 and 4 make 14. That's one way we can show 14. So what you're going to do on pages 246 and 247 is you're going to count the objects and then write the number. So let's look at the first one. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's 13, so we would write the number 13. A 1 first, and then a 3. So on page 246, you'll just be tracing. Okay, the 1 first, and then the 3 for 13. Let's look at the next one. What number is this? 14, so let's count to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It is 14. So you're going to trace the 14. One first and then the 4. Remember, the 1 comes first in these numbers. So if we put the 1 second, it's a whole different number. So you're going to work on page 247 yourself. You're going to count each set of objects, and then you're going to uh, write how many four times. Okay? So you'll do all of these on your own. When you're done, you can send me pictures to Google Classroom, Class Dojo, or my email.